Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have an unboxing haul for you guys from Field Notes. Um, I basically got a bunch of their notebooks um, and I haven't looked inside the box yet. I just had to open it up the top flaps because my address is there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what's in here and to see the products in person. So, ooh, okay, I'm gonna save this box for later. Let's do this right side first. Um, here we have letterpress notebooks. And I believe, I think over here should be more letterpress, yes. And is this more? Yeah, I remember I got the full set of their letterpress notebooks and they are so gorgeous. So let me open this up. Um, and I think I'm going to unbox everything first and then I'm going to explain afterwards how I plan on using a million notebooks. <laughs> um, but yeah, this purchase was very much like an impromptu buy. Um, I was watching a video, uh, I forget off the top of my head which video it was. Mm, yeah, I don't wanna say the wrong one. So I will just, put it on the screen or in the description um, box. But basically it's one of the journaling channels that I watch and they were using their field notes as common planners. And it just looked like so much fun and the cover looked so gorgeous that I was like, oh my God, I have to get these. Um, but yeah. I'm like trying to unbox it really carefully, which is why it's a little, it's taking a little while. Okay, so let's go through all of them. So these are all of the letterpress ones. I love how colorful and graphic these are and the designs are just so cool. And I believe these are all um, grid notebooks. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like the interiors are all the same. Yeah, they're all grid notebooks. Um, oh, okay. And then it looks like at the back of each notebook, it describes the letter press or like the shop that designed um, each of the covers and like a brief history of the store. So for example, this one is by Mama's Sauce founded by Nick Sambrato in Orlando, Florida, where he began printing in his garage. Um, and and yeah, this is really cool. I like how they partnered with these local um like store independent stores and how each one came up with their own design to partner with Field Notes. So there's those. And then let's see, next 
we have the Great Lakes collection. I was very interested in these, so I'm excited to see these in person. Okay, so here, these look like very simple designs, but I like how sleek they are and how you can tell that they're a set. So this is Lake Michigan and there's nothing on the back. And we have Lake Superior, Lake Her Her Heron. I'm so sorry for, if I pronounced that wrong. Um, Lake Uri and Lake Ontario. And it's a little hard to see. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it does have the lakes here. But um, because the dark blue is very close to this blue, it's like not showing up super well. These are also dot grid notebooks. And on the inside, it has some facts about the lake at the back. All right, and now what's this? Oh, okay, because I ordered this around Valentine's Day, they look, it looks like they included a free notebook, um, 48 page love notes. It looks like it's just a regular notebook. There's nothing here on the last page. And yeah, it's cute. That's fun. Now, okay. Let's take out this box. Oh, and there's a second box. And oh, there's also a free pencil. Okay. So this pencil, I think this is also because I ordered around. I think I got this because I ordered around Valentine's Day. I think these two were both Valentine's Day freebies. Um, but this one says, you're number one. This pencil is number two. I love that. Um, now let's start with this smaller box. I absolutely love the design of this packaging. It's so cool. I need to figure out a way to repurpose this box. Um, ooh, okay. These notebooks. This is part of their quarterly subscription service and I did subscribe for an entire year. Um, so I'm excited to see what are the next notebooks that I get. But these, I think it was specifically this one. I think these two um, that inspired me or like, I guess, yeah, I guess inspired was the right word. Um, but that like convinced me to place an order with field notes because these covers are just beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna open this. Okay. This is their Heartland collection. And let's just take a good look at how gorgeous these are like are you kidding they're so beautiful this one it's like a nighttime one. Oh, it feels so peaceful so serene i can feel i feel like i can hear crickets chirping just by looking at this here So that's the Heartland collection. And then for the quarterly subscription, they send you two packs of the notebooks. So this pack is the exact same as this pack. And I apologize if um, you can hear the traffic sounds. I do live next to a busy street, so I apologize for that. Um, it looks like they included a 2024 calendar, which is very cute. 
And then um, with the subscription, you get a exclusive keychain. So I think I'm gonna put this on my luggage next time I go on vacation. It's beautiful and it's the same design as this one. Okay, and then we also get a general purpose band of rubber. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use this. Let me see, can it fit nicely around the book? Yes, okay. So it fits pretty nicely around the book. Um, it's tight enough to keep it closed, but it's not super tight where it's warping the book. So I guess that's what you're meant to use it for, maybe. Um, but that's cool. And then it also came with a pen. Field notes. Um, let me see. Wait. Oh, is it? A, oh, it's a click. I'm dumb. Okay. But I love this. It's so sleek. Um, it feels like it would be nice to write with. And yeah, I'm excited to try this out in my regular journals as well as on this paper. So this box done. And now this bigger box. Okay, let's move this. Um, here. Contents, 18 parks, 15 million acres. Um, so as you can probably guess already, this is part of their national parks collection. I got the full set, which I think only the full set I wanna say comes with this really nice box. I'm gonna have to find a way to repurpose this as well. Um, and oh, here it says the national parks series, field notes with 59 parks. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. Um let's see. Let's just let's just go one pack one pack by pack. Okay. Okay. So this is the first pack. We have Rocky Mountain National Park with this beautiful deer. And it's a lovely pastel pink shade on the back. Here, this is Great Smoky Mountains National Park with this beautiful bear and a tan yellowish color and then Yellowstone National Park with the buffaloes and on the back is a light blue color. Um, okay. Oh, and it says 5% of your purchase is donated to the National Park Service. That's cool. Next we have Next, we have Grand Canyon National Park. Ooh, it's like a very nice sunset peach color. This is Joshua Tree National Park with a purple. And then Mount Rainier National Park. This is giving Studio Ghibli vibes, like in Howl's Moving Castle and light blue. Okay. Glacier National Park. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And Everglades National Park. When I see this crane, I'm just reminded of Migration the movie. There's a crane that shows up briefly during the movie and they're so funny. Denali National Park. 
Ooh, I love this green color. It's very minty spring. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Cuyahoga Valley? Um, it's like a military green. And then Olympic National Park. We have uh, Yosemite, Yosemite, Yosemite. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Acadia. And Zion. And then the last pack. Ooh, what's this? It's bumper stickers, it looks like. That's fun. I think there's two bumper stickers that it comes with. Okay. All right. The last pack, we have Grand Tetan National Park. Arches National Park and Sequoia National Park. Okay, so that was everything in my massive field notes haul. Um, I guess I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but please do not think that this is like a normal amount of notebooks to be getting at any particular time. Um, but yeah, so now let me explain what I plan to use all of these for. So there's a reason why I got mostly destination themed notebooks so we have these five lakes and also all of these national parks. I have a goal to visit all of these places in my lifetime. Of course, there's no guarantee that that will happen because life is funny sometimes, but um, I'm hoping that with each place that I visit, I can bring one of these notebooks, like the corresponding one, and fill it up about my trip. I can take little notes and little doodles in here, um, maybe even stick stuff in. And yeah, I think it would just be a really cute, fun little record of my time at the park. Oh. So that's what I'm going to do with all of these notebooks, the 18 national parks and the five Great Lakes. And then for some of these letterpress ones, um, like, for example, this one, Go, Don't Stop. The back isn't really travel themed, but I think the front is travel themed. So maybe I could use this for a road trip of some sort. Um, and then, and then for this one, um, like maybe I could visit a quaint little town or something and I could journal about that in here. It's definitely giving like beachside town vibes or something. And then this one says true west. So maybe if I go to one of the Western states or maybe even if I go to like a medieval festival or something, I feel like this would be fun to journal about in here. And so these three, I will also be using for travel journaling. And then the rest of the notebooks I will be using for also travel journaling. But these 
Um, their covers don't really have a specific theme. And so I will just be using whichever one I feel like um, for each trip. So for example, my next upcoming trip is going to be Disney. So maybe I will use this one. I don't know why, but this one just feels the most Disney to me. Either this one or this one, actually. One of these. Um, and then my next trip after that is going to be to Washington, D.C. And so maybe... So maybe either this one or this one. These two just... I don't know why, but like they just feel the most Washington DC to me out of the ones that I have. So yeah, um, all of these are going to be for documenting these trips. Each notebook is going to be a different trip slash destination. Um, and the ones that are not blatantly destination slash trip themed, I will be using for miscellaneous trips um just whichever one feels the most fitting and then for these that are already themed i will be using for the corresponding destination all right so that is my full field notes haul it was super massive. Um, I just want to say that this is not a normal amount of notebooks to buy at one time. Um, and I don't mean to like perpetrate an idea that this is an acceptable amount of notebooks to buy at any time. Um, my thought is that after this round of notebooks from Field Notes, I will not be purchasing any more Field Notes besides their subscription. And I also only subscribed for a year. So after that year, I don't know if I will renew my subscription or not. Um, but yeah, the thought is that this will last me basically a lifetime. Um, like it's gonna take me an entire lifetime to visit all of these destinations. So this is going to be my biggest haul by far of Field Notes notebooks. And then I will definitely be documenting my future trips and how I document those trips in these little notebooks. So please look forward to that. Um, my next trip is planned for end of February through beginning of March. So my first video will be like March-ish in mid-March, um, me using these field notes and that's going to be the Disney World trip. And I think at the end of May, I'm going to go to Washington DC. And so you'll get another like travel vlog slash field notes journaling video um, probably in early June. Um, and yeah, I'm curious, do you guys use field notes? If so, how do you use it? And then also do any of you guys do travel journaling? Like having a specific notebook just for travels? If so, what notebooks and what methods do you use to document that? Um, just let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you guys next week with a new video.